want to teach you how to get a drink out of a cup. But if in the catastrophic event that you're in the, uh, the, uh, the urban wilderness, but you, you don't have a straw, that's how I'm going to help you today. What, what do you want? Go on, get out! You're going to grab the lid, like so, and use the torque in your wrist to pull off the lid. Like, grab it like you're a sort of a, a hermit crab without a home. And you're going to pour, pour it very delicately and gently. You'll want to just tip it slowly over. Use your whole torso to tip the bottle. And you want to pour yourself a generous helping. You never know when you're going to get another drink. All right, so... The first thing you're going to need to do, obviously after you've obtained your water cup and the water with which to put in the cup, you'll need a table about two oh, yay high. You're going to first use uh, Newton's law of, mo of, uh, of motion to throw your arm up on the table like so. Now don't throw it too high, because when it falls, it's going to hurt real bad. Again, using the same laws of physics, you're going to throw your left arm up over the right arm. Now, what you're doing here is you're creating a, a fulcrum of motion, you see. You're going to be able to provide yourself with artificial lifting capabilities. You're going to bend down, grab the cup. Be very careful, this is the most delicate part. The process of picking it up. As you can see, it doesn't look very stable, but it might be a little more stable than it looks. Bringing the cup slowly toward yourself, so as not to spill any of the contents, you bring it ever, ever closer to, to your face. And you're just gonna, you're gonna throw it. You're gonna, you want to drink it, drink it all the way down. Ah, so you can see I've only managed to spill somewhat uh, on the side of my mouth. So that's uh, how we do it. And remember, if you don't have a straw, you can't make one.